हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर दीज टू टॉपिक लाइक व्हाट इज़ एज योर डेटा फैक्ट्री एंड व्हाट इज़ एज योर डेटा ब्रिक सो सो बोथ द टूल्स आर यूज्ड फॉर द ईटीएल पर्पस ओके सो आई विल टेल यू व्हाई नाउ वी आर यूजिंग क्लाउड बेस्ड थिंग नॉट यूजिंग इन्फॉर्मेटिका मच इन मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन एजोर डेटा फैक्ट्री एंड इन्फॉर्मेटिका इज दैट यू कैन एक्सेस बोथ दी टू लाइक एजोर डेटा फैक्ट्री एंड एजोर डेटा ब्रेक विद द हेल्प ऑफ एनी दैट पोर्टल डॉट एजोर डॉट कॉम सो यू नीड वन लॉग इन क्रीडेंशियल टू लॉग इन इन टू दैट एप्लीकेशन ओके सो हियर यू कैन एक्सेस बोथ दी सर्विसेज लाइक एजोर डेटा फैक्ट्री एंड एजोर डेटा ब्रिक सो ऑल दी so many uh, applications that uh, microsoft is providing here that you can access but for that purpose you need some subscription and that is bit costly okay and uh, to access uh, inform uh, informatica you only need some uh, like um, uh, tools to install on your machine so la in my last video i already explained you how to install the informatica and what all um, like exe file you will be needing so once you install all the application you can perform the etl process okay but that is not a cloud based so that is the main difference between the azure and the informatica tool informatica tool is not a cloud based but azure that is provided by the microsoft uh, you can access it from any place okay whether you are working from office or you are working on your local machine you can directly access it so let's understand what is azure data factory and what is azure data brick so uh, azure data factory is basically a um, Yeah, integration tool that whatever uh, process we are doing with the help of informatica same kind of thing we can do here as well in azure data factory by creating some pipelines uh, okay uh, that uh, let me open that azure okay so right now i don't have the uh, subscription so uh, i could not uh, explain you in a visual format like how we are creating the pipelines to um, extract transform and load the data from one source to another okay so these are the azure services that is provided by the microsoft okay so once you got any subscription you can access azure data factory so uh, i uh, so in today's um, topic i am going to just give you some uh, like heads up what is the main purpose of using azure data factory and and azure data brick okay so the main difference between both uh, both azure data factory and uh, azure data brick is that a azure data factory we use for the uh, integration purpose only means we could not perform much action on the uh, adf part because we have we have some limitation like we have to use some set of predefined functions there and we could not modify much um, uh, like uh, modify much uh, code there so for that purpose uh, we are using azure data brick so azure data brick is basically used by the data scientist or the data engineers to create some complex logic so because in we have some limitation in azure data factory because uh, we are basically loading uh, the data or um, extracting the data from the azure data lake or some other um, other data uh, database maybe it could be a oracle or some other tool so for that purpose you are, we are using azure data factory but to build any report as i told you in one of my video suppose if you are um, creating one power bi reports and there they are using some complex logic to create any report so for that purpose uh, you need some uh, language to build that report so uh, that uh, that is supported by the azure data bricks so azure data bricks basically uh, support some languages like uh, python python and spark r java or sql 
means by with the use of these um, languages you can create one notebook means whatever logic you are going to apply on the data that is extracted from the azure data freight you have to create one notebook and in that notebook you have to write your logic whether you can use python spark r or any language there and create one notebook there with all the complex logic that is that you are going to display on a report so that notebook now uh, is being used by the power bi power bi developers for any specific purpose for so suppose if they are going to display some um, like table where they are they are using some complex logic so th uh, now they have to fetch that notebook to display the data instead of uh, going to azure data factory they can uh, get the data from directly from the notebook so these are the some facility um, that is uh, given by the azure data big so in layman terms i can uh, let you know like in azure data factory we have some limitation we cannot uh, modify much code there because we have to use some predefined function but uh, in azure databrick we have not uh, limitations there because uh, databrick support uh, so many languages like python spark r or java to create some complex logic that is used by the data engineer or data scientist so that is the main difference between the azure data factory and data azure databrick so uh, i'll explain you in some more simple way so suppose um, these are the sources multiple sources are there like so many sources are there okay now you want to extract the data from these sources so what you will do you have to use um, azure data factory okay now what you will do you will use adf here so with the help of adf now you are extracting all the data from the different sources and now you are loading these data into some target location okay so uh, in some other target location now you are loading the data whether it could be a db data lake or any uh, so uh, target system you can choose suppose you are storing it in a oracle oracle db now you want to apply some uh, complex uh, calculation on the stored data now you will be needing a adf sorry azure data brick now now here azure data bricks comes into a picture data brick now what you will do um, you will apply some complex logic on the uh, data stored here and now you are creating one uh, so many not a one um, in data brick we can create and numbers of notebooks okay so some specific uh, calculation purpose they could use some um, any uh, like suppose they are calculating the uh, total ca um, total count of uh, employee there so they can create one notebook for that suppose they are uh, displaying the highest uh, salary of a person for that they could uh, create a separate notebook uh, but uh, right now i am giving you a very simple example but in a real time they are not creating notebook for such a simple calculation they are creating some other uh, complex part okay so now once they created one notebook uh, now what we'll do these are the notebook so notebook can be uh, can consist of a, a number of languages like that notebook can hold like python spark r java or sql i mean in a single notebook you can use a number of languages okay that is the flexibility given by the data brick so once you have created one notebook what what power bi developer will do they can use a 
these uh, these notebook in their report okay now they could use all the notebook that is created by the data engineer and now they can build one report based on the notebook created by the um, data engineer now here power bi developers will come into a picture power bi reports and now they could create uh, any report based on the business logic so this is the basic flow how we are using the adf and azure data brick and where we are using power bi reports so i hope it's pretty much clear now what is the difference between adf and uh, data brick okay so in case you have any doubt you can just um, post a comment uh, and i'll try to reply most of the questions okay i if you uh, if you like my this video please like and subscribe my channel thank you